Biggest tree of the day. What's up everybody, Everyday Angler here. I'm actually at home right now, uh, finishing the video that you're about to watch, and I realized I did not film an intro for the second part of me and John's float. I did get my first uh, qualifying fish for the Georgia Bass Slam of the year. Nice fish, so stick around to the end and watch. Anyways, let's get to the video. Yeah. All right, everybody. John's rowing for me. I'm gonna be throwing this spinner bait just cause I really wanna be able to cover some water and we're gonna book it for this last section of the float. If, if I really start nailing them, I'll get back on the fly, but this spinner bait right here, I guess we could give him a shout out. What is this? Booyah. Booyah, looks like a sexy shad or? I don't, yeah, I think so. And I got a little. Now that's not the same trailer he's been catching him on, but he ha you have hooked into a couple yeah, with that trailer. That so, and it's been a while since I've casted a spinning rod, so forgive me. You don't have to hold it in the water unless you want to. But, okay. Cause that thing kind of just stays down a little bit. I just... Okay, we're good forward. You wanna go down it? Yeah, try to put us in right there. <laughs> turn it, turn it. Okay. <laughs> Do it. You watched him eat it? I watched him eat it. I was like, set the hook. I look like a smallie too. I'm gonna say that just to make a man. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Missed the biggest smallie it. of my life. I saw it. I was waiting. I didn't take him, I didn't take it seriously. I thought it was a sm uh that was another rock bass. I thought he had it. I was like, wait on you to set, you never <laughs> You're right though, that he was sitting super tight. Big old rock bass. I thought you had a small bite. I had the camera roll and everything. I got this creek over here on the side. My goodness. You gotta be excited about those too. I know. And uh, you can't, that's, just, that's what's crazy is like, unless you're, I mean, some people care, but like people want to see you excited about, if you're showing a fish, like excited about it, but it's hard to get when you like, you're even like, catching all, them all day. Just going through rock bass after rock bass. And, like, give me a. Something for my bass slam. Have you, oh yeah. Hey, did you do it last year? I tried to, but I couldn't, I just kept not measuring them. Yeah. I, I kept it with like two of them and I just stopped. Come on, fishy, fishy. Rock bass. <clears throat> oh. We've caught so many bass, man. <sighs> These are 
think this is my third one on this spinner bait. Right there, see it? See you. Oh, oh! Calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm gonna throw it back in there. Hold on, let him, let him settle. Unless you can make another cast right now. I may have pinched him. Dude, that was a good one. Did you see him? Yes, I saw him. You wanna, let's, let's fish in there. Wanna fish back in there? Throw that other lure in there. There's a couple. I saw. I saw a couple sitting in there. Or one, okay. one. I didn't know. I didn't think he had it at all. Did you, did you get it? Uh, I felt him, but I don't know if he got the hook or not. I didn't think he hit it that hard, but he might have. No, come on, I felt that was a bite. That was invigorating. He's still on there. Not the one, though. Probably the one I saw. I saw a little one over there. you explain to your audience what you want? So what just happened is, uh, John told me to, that he saw a rock bass on the bank, and right when I looked away, it was a smallmouth, right? Or was it a big rock that bass? Was a, what, it hit yours? Yeah. It was a good smallmouth. A good smallmouth hit mine once, and I missed it. And we just tried to come back for it and got a little rock bass. I'm going to try to cast one more time. I missed him on the spinner bait. Now we're throwing this uh, young dinger in there. Cause it was a decent smallie. I'm not sure if he bit my hook. I'm getting bit. If you if you know they're there, you can't you can let them like take it for a second. But if it's a big one and he gets it, usually he's just gonna have it holding his mouth. You think it's black or you think it's the worm? I think it's the presentation. Uh, black always works. Things like I, I love. I mean, the, the hunger might. I've had best luck in the black and any other colors I've tried. But um, it's the slow. It's just a, it's just a creature right in front of me, and it's sitting there. I don't have to do any work to eat it. And it's such shallow water that the weightless part is perfect for it because it just doesn't have. I mean, it can just slowly fall right in front of its face. And it's a centipede or a, a worm that fell in out of a tree, and I'm okay. I know what it was. Biggest tree of the day. Room on this boat is so like Yeah, it is. Roomy. I mean, if you did this float in anything else, you'd be so like, you think you're tired right now? Huh? You think you're tired right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. your back would be hurting and. If I did, oh yeah. Do the whole time. Hit that, hit that spot over there in a minute. Up behind it. I just want to see that 20 inch or come and take this thing down. And I'll miss it too. Yeah. <laughs> Spits it out. Did you just have the hook? I can hear them and have a nice float. I can, I'll come all the way up to here? Yeah. Oh, uh, if I could get up above that shoal, which wouldn't be hard probably, I can go no. up this section. Just drag it one time, that ain't yeah, nothing. I definitely do. I do that on the console. Okay. I'll go. That's one body. Oh, is that a bass? Yeah, good luck, man. Large mouth? <laughs> yes! Flip him up in the boat. You sure? Yeah. Yes, oh, dude. Nice. Oh. 
we were over here talking and I let this thing just dead stick down there and I felt some weight on it. Now, largemouth bass. Very nice North Georgia largey. I'm actually really happy I caught this fish because uh, I don't run into largemouth a lot fishing rivers and creeks. So this one's going to the DNR for uh, the Georgia bass slam. Thank you for watching everybody. I'm trying to do three videos a week now. And uh, I've got a bunch planned about two weeks out. I did go fishing with John again, so please stay tuned in the channel. Hit the like button, it helps me a lot. And I was actually looking at my uh, analytics and 80% of you that are watching this are not subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching everybody. And I'll see you guys next time on another episode of The Everyday Angler.